Okay, another math video from AlgebraTestHelper.com and what I want to talk about in this video real quick is just kind of like a motivational video for those who are out there um, studying for the GED math uh, or excuse me, the GED uh, test and um, uh, there's basically two, a couple portions on it. Uh, math is a big part of the GED test so I'm going to focus in on the, the math part and generally speaking that's usually the toughest part for those of you um, are going for your GED. So I kind of have this stick figure here and um, they have a uh, kind of a frown on them and it's like well hey a lot of you out there the biggest thing that's gonna um, prevent you from passing your GED is your mental state okay it's what's going on up in your your brain housing group <laughs> as we used to call it in the Marine Corps um, you have to really be positive Okay, and oftentimes um, it's the way you perceive yourself. Now, I'm just speaking in generalities, of course. A lot of you out there can have a great self-image, but if you don't, that's going to definitely hold you back. So you should get excited and just totally believe in yourself. Whatever happened, whatever prevented you to get into high school diploma before, that's in the past, and the past doesn't equal the future. You need to focus in on uh, building a better future for yourself. So start filling your head with good images, okay? And I don't care what skill level you're at in math. It, believe me, I have 25 years of experience doing this. I have gotten people to pass uh, the GED and all sorts of tests, and they thought they couldn't even do 2 plus 2, okay? So you can do it. You absolutely can do it, but you have to believe you can do it. If you, if you think to yourself, oh, I'm not going to be able to do it, guess what? You are going to fail. So the first thing... Uh, when you're talking about the GED is you have to change your thoughts. You absolutely have to. Because it's a significant challenge. Okay, you're going to be taking a pretty pretty big test. Now, let's kind of drill in on the math sections. Okay, so so step one, change your thoughts. Um, really start believing you can, you can do it. The second thing is when you're talking about math, okay, or the test itself, you're going to need some time. All right, give yourself some time. Time to, for what? Well, time to study, kind of brush up. You can't possibly expect to say, I'm going to go buy a GED book and or I'm going to get into a GED program for like a month and then take the test. I mean, you, you might be able to pull it off, but that's kind of, you know, you're taking a big gamble there. So you want to give yourself some time and it'll be well worth it. OK, um, better to invest the time needed to study and pass than to just take a series of tests month after month after month you're just hoping for the best okay so give yourself some time especially with math okay and how much time are we talking about well I think you depending on your skill level I would say it's maybe three to six months might be a pretty good time frame okay I think you could get a lot done in three to six months and this brings me to my second point is what you want next is like a coach all right a coach a mentor a teacher somebody who has experience and somebody who can teach math in a way that you understand. So um, this brings me to my additional point here. Uh, please come on over and use our site, AlgebraTestHelper.com. Um, on there, you'll have just tons of free uh, free videos, free lessons, all done by myself. I'm John Zimmerman. Taught uh, math for many, many years. Um, been doing this. Uh, not only for a long time, but very successfully. So this is just um, my way of helping those out there in a, in a free manner. Okay, so you can go to this site, algebratesthelper.com. However, I have another site that you might want to check out. It's www.tabletclass.com. Okay, and on this site, I have my full courses. Okay, full independent courses where... Uh, public schools use them, homeschoolers use them, adults going back to schools uh, use them, and I have a great GED math course on there. Okay, so um, you know if you give yourself about three to six months, you're going to have to build up your skill set, and that brings me to the next thing. Once you have a coach, you have to start from the basics. All right, you have to start from the basics um, before you start doing advanced stuff. So you want to go back and look at your basic skills. Can you add and subtract? Now I'm not being um, funny here you know you you want to go back and do some of these but get away from the calculator start brushing up okay can you multiply and divide do you know how to do percentage problems can you find the area of a rectangle for example so you want to get back to the basics and of course last but not least you want to practice 
and all of this okay practice the time finding somebody that's going to help you going back to the basics guess what that is going to require it's going to require commitment okay but if you're going to uh, go for um, the GED test and, and pass it uh, you're obviously are looking to improve yourself okay and I, I'm gonna wish you all the best and hopefully I can help you out I mean at a minimum you should be coming over to our site algebratesthelper.com just to get a ton of free material and then obviously you might want to check out uh, my other site tabletclass.com and check out our GED math program which is just outstanding but it all starts once again with the images in your head okay so think positive have a bright outlook on your future and hopefully I can help you out by um, um, having you be a visitor to our sites, algebratesthelper.com and tabletclass.com. I really do wish you all the best and good luck.